Kim Zolciak and Croy Bierman are asking a judge not to foreclose their Atlanta home despite their current divorce hearings. The couple have been in financial trouble for quite some time and are looking to sell the home on their terms. Troy Bierman and Kim Zolciak have been going through the divorce via Zoom, and the two are now asking for assistance on their ongoing foreclosure. The two have been living in the home together and are looking to sell the home after their divorce. It's Anna Lawani reporting. As of right now, the couple knows that they are in a large financial crisis and are asking the court to help them from becoming even larger. Croy and Kim have approached the court to stop the bank's foreclosure on their current home and allow them to sell it on their terms and their time. According to documents obtained from TMZ, Kim and Croy claim that if the bank's planned auction on November 7th is allowed to happen, the two will suffer, quote, irreparable injury to the marital estate, depleting it in its entirety. Kim and Croy listed their property for $6 million through a realtor while they worked through the divorce arrangement via Zoom court. The home was set for foreclosure auction before the couple had listed it. The sale of the home is currently going on while the couple also lives inside it together. According to court orders, Kim has been ordered to live in the basement and nanny suite, while Croy has exclusive access to the primary bedroom. As previously mentioned, the divorce has had a lot of missteps. Croy was recently accused by Kim of being a gambling addict and the blame for their financial problems. Kim also mentioned that she does not trust her estranged husband around their children. As of late, Kim also recently missed a court hearing via Zoom due to her scheduled filming. Zolciak's lawyer, David Baldry, claimed that the reality star was filming MTV's A Surreal Life and was on a flight back from Australia. Baldry attempted to apologize for the absence, but the judge was very irritated. The judge reminded Zolciak's lawyer that the absence was not excused and waited for the day. The former NFL player did admit at that time he and his estranged wife had been involved in sexual intercourse as of late, but has no desire to reconcile.